And throughout the entire morning, we've been talking about the potential for this to be a big traffic headache. And as we zoom down I Street towards 7th Street, you will see that traffic headache materializing uh, as drivers facing a roadblock here on I Street at 7th. So drivers having to turn uh, and deal with trying to get around this area and that creating a mess uh, for those drivers. All of this part of a homicide investigation. In fact, take a look. I want to give you a different perspective of the exact scene we're talking about here. This is uh, the corner. Kitty Corner from the uh, Sacramento Main Jail right outside the uh, bail bondsman uh, that's at the corner of this building where uh, this morning police responded to a report of an assault. By the time they got here, uh, they found one victim and another quote unquote person of interest. That person of interest tried to resist when officers tried to uh, detain that person. Ultimately, that person was taken into custody, remains a person of interest. As for the victim, uh, that victim dying here on scene from what police described at the time as significant injuries. No identities yet of the victim or the suspect, or I should say the person of interest at this point in time. So that part is part of the investigation that continues. But if we come back out here live again, the major headline here for commuters right now and how this affects you is I Street. Again, it is fully closed from 7th Street towards I-5. You can get by on 5th Street, but 6th Street closed uh, as a cross street. And so getting around here obviously is creating quite the traffic headache. So for more on trying to get around this closure, if you are part of the morning commute getting to I-5, 